This demonstration will show setting up a configuration file in the TechType 4.0 software, which is a free download from the energyconservatory.com website. And configuration files will contain all your basic um, information, like your company name and company logo, and um, default information about the test and the fan you're using, and uh, climate information and fuel information, that kind of a thing. Um, so the first step is to go up to File on the upper left, the first pull-down menu, and choose the first item, which is New Test. Click on that. And our test standard options are the CGSB 8-point test, ResNet 1-point test, ResNet multi-point test, or the ResNet repeated single-point test. So we can choose the default test that we're going to use the most often. And then we'll choose which fan we're using. Um, our options are the Model 3, Model 4 is a European model, um, Duck Blaster A is, was the original Duck Blaster that has a white fiberglass fan housing, or Duck Blaster B, which is the newer uh, Duck Blaster fan with a black fan housing. Um, uh, Duck Blasters, if, you, if you're doing tests on, um, on tighter new homes or condominium units, apartment units, it's handy to, to have a smaller fan to use. It's easier to move around from unit to unit, for example. Um, and we do have... Uh, a red nylon panel that has a hole in it the size of a duck blaster. And um, our newer speed controllers in the last year or so um, have had the plug-in for, um, for the fan control cable. So you can control it automatically from the computer. Um, or you could set the, the mode to, uh, to semi-auto and uh, control uh, the speed of the fan uh, by hand during the test. And it will still record all of those data, all of that data you need. So, um, and then we can also enter in the serial number, and that can be included in the report. Serial number on the fan is located on the silver uh, mounting bracket for the fan, and uh, one of those brackets will have a, uh, a metal plate on it with the serial number. Um, this is the uh, customer information page, and uh, we want the next step, we want to enter in our company information. Um, so to do that, we'll go up to the Options menu, which is the second pull-down menu. And the first item is Business Info. We'll click on Business Info, and we'll enter in our, our company name and our address. Um, you get the idea. I won't enter in everything. but. But you can include your phone number, fax number, email, website, all of that information. And then we can pull a, a, a company logo in too. So I'll click on load new logo. Um, and then we'll find our location where our logo is stored. Click on that. Now we've loaded our logo in there. So the next step will be to go to the next page, which is our environmental info. I, I uh, you can move toggle back and forth between screens by, by hitting next, the next button on the lower right here. Um, so now we're at the uh, environmental info page and uh, we'll pull in our climate information. So where it says select climate location, we'll click on here. And, uh, we're in Minneapolis, so we'll go down to the net. Use that, and the cities that are in here are based on the information that, that we that were available. If we have all the climate information for that city, will be included. For example, if, if um, we don't we, we we don't have the data for the weather factor, then, then the city won't be in there. Um, you can customize if if um, you know choose the the city that's closest to you, and um, uh, you can customize the, the data if, it's, if it might be different in your location uh, by putting in, you know, what your heating degree days, cooling degree days are for your area. You customize it a little bit that way. Um, and then heating, you know, choose uh, what's, what's typical in your area for default. Uh, uh, natural gas would be the default for our area. And the price is about a dollar uh, per CCF, 100 cubic feet, which is about a therm, which is the way it's displayed on most uh, energy bills. 
um, and then enter in the efficiency, and that should be a whole number. Um, you'll get a much different <laughs> energy calculation if you enter in 0.8 instead of 80 for percent. Um, and cooling costs, uh, electricity is pretty cheap here, about 8 cents a therm, and so your rating typically about 13. So these are the default numbers, and you can change them. Um, you can either hit the clear button or just highlight and type over them. The clear button will, will clear the item in, in that box, in that area, or in, on some pages it will clear the information for the whole page. So you can clear that information and re enter it if you'd like. If you have any questions about for, you know, what they mean by, by windshielding for each of these, you can go up to the help menu and it will it'll have that uh, particular information. For more detailed information, you can go up to the main help menu, which is the last pull down item here on the top left. Um, the last uh, pull down menu is the help menu, and you can pull up the, the full Tektite manual, um, which has lots and lots of information in it about the software. So, um, so then we'll go, I'm clicking the next button on the lower right here to toggle between pages. And if we're doing zonal pressure diagnostics on every house, we can set that up. We can activate that. Then the settings bar lights up here. We click on that, and we can, uh, you know, we can set up a number of attics or uh, maybe one attic and a garage or whatever zones we want to include uh, in the data. Um, we can set up there. Clicking back here to go back to our customer information page. So that's setting up kind of your master, what would be your main configuration file. Um, we'll, we'll, go, we'll save that. Um, so we'll go up to File on the upper left here, File. You can go down to Save Configuration File. Now it'll give us a chance to uh, pick where we want to put that and, and give it a name. save that with a CFA extension uh, config CFA um, extension um, so now we saved our main configuration file and and we can set up uh, a configuration file uh, for each house which sometimes is handy if you've got time in the office to fill in you know the other information the date will be pulled in automatically but um, but you could if you're if you've got a client that you're going to be doing next week, you can put that date in there and put in your project number and technician and, and all your customer information, um, whatever customer information you want to appear on the report. And if you have information about the house, you can enter that in there too. Um, and then save that as a separate file and, and maybe name it as, as the project number or the customer name or address or something. Save that as a separate configuration file, and you can pull that up at the house. And, um, another idea, if you're if you're doing pre-tests and post-tests for the same house, you can <coughs> you can um, um, when you're doing the post-test, you can pull up the pre-test. So not the configuration file, but the pre-test itself. You can pull up the pre-test and um, so that'll have all of the information entered in, the customer information, information about the house. Um, and then you can go to the test settings page. Um, and, and it's good practice before you, you clear the data to save, save it. So you go up to save um, and choose save current test file. And, and then rename that pretest as a post test. So now, and then after you rename it, um, then you're confident that that uh, that now you've got two copies. <laughs> um, then you can clear the data. And if you hit clear, you'll you'll uh, this will you know if you've got data in here, then this um, this clear button will be a dark blue like previous is here. That, so we'll have a dark blue one that that'll allow you to click on it, and that will just clear the data. All the other information will remain in there. Save it as a post test, and then. Uh, um, start your test and um, and that that'll save you a lot of time 